Hey guys, I just wanted to show you what I'm doing here with the uh, exhaust housing. So I was just going to port match this to the gasket. And what I did is I just used a black magic marker. I just uh, drew around the openings here. And then I laid my gasket on the top, like so. And then I just took a, you know, you just need something to, to mark out. Uh, on the uh, mark out the uh, black ink essentially and then uh, I'll just go in with a uh, with a cutting bit and um, I'll port match this so what I'm using of course is you're gonna want to use a, uh, a bit made for iron so that's a bit for iron and here's one for aluminum you don't want to use aluminum of course so you can see the difference in the cutting teeth so, aluminum, iron, or steel. So, of course, the tools I'm using, just Chicago electric stuff from Harbor Freight. And then I have a variable voltage uh, device here to vary the voltage because this thing will spin up some super RPM. So I use this to regulate the voltage going to the tool here so that I can regulate the RPM. So let's go ahead and get started on this. I'll show you what, I, what I'm doing. switched over to this grinding stone here it's uh, not as aggressive as the uh, the cutting uh, bit but this will take metal out and it'll smooth everything out too you'll see here that I switched over to a sanding roll to uh, finish the uh, the porting, um, so I'm going to finish up with this just to make sure everything's nice and smooth on the inside. All right, guys. So here it is. It's all complete. Um, what I did here is that uh, this is the outlet here. I came in and I uh, smoothed out the uh, machining that FP did on this short side here. Let me get my hand out of the way. I'm going to smooth that out. I smoothed all this rough casting out uh, in here as well. I don't know why this won't focus, but it's got to be the lighting. So I smoothed all this out and blended uh, the factory FP machining in with the, uh, with the exhaust here. So this is ported out fairly decent. It's not really ported, I should say, on this, on this exhaust side, but it's, uh, it's just smoothed out. And then over here on the inlet side, it's complete so what I did is of course is I use the cutting bit first to get it started this is the most aggressive and it'll take out the most material so I went around and did that I followed it up with a grinding stone here which kind of takes out a lot of the uh, a, um, a good bit of the metal too but it'll give it a smoother surface versus the cutting wheel and then I followed it up with a sanding roll. So, and that'll get everything nice and smooth in there. I only maybe went inside, see if I can see in there. I only went inside about maybe an inch and a half to two inches, but I just wanted to mainly get this opening here matched to the gasket, which is what I did. So, there she is, completed. So, I'm going to go ahead and heat coat this next. And, um,. Stay tuned for more video, guys. 